Hey yo guys, Quiet here. And yeah, it's been quite a while again for Skyrim, for Skyrim, no, Oblivion. I know, I know. I was I was going on schedule and I completely fucked up. I know it, I know. And I'm completely uh, still trying to get into a work in a schedule. Oh, hello. But yeah. I will try to do my best. But first, let's get the new contract. Oh, wait, what? Okay, that was weird. I just got out of screen, out of game. There you go. Dead drop order. I've picked up my reward and received my next contract. I must go to the city of Bravio and lie in wait near the ancient statue known as the Lucky La Old Lady. A wood elf named Amgillum visits the statue every night between 5 p.m. and 1 a.m. to make a wish, as is a local custom. When I see and Gollum, I must kill him. I should be warned, however, that uh, <laughs> his name, Un Gollum, has been alerted to danger, and if he senses any assassin that would probably attack on sight, he has also bribed the guards to look the other way if there's a fight. Perhaps stealth, perhaps a stealth approach would be best. Okay. But yeah, I will make. <laughs> sort of update video about my schedule and what I'm going to do at this point. Oh, please. Yeah, you're off. Nub off. Okay. But yeah, guys, I will say one thing already in advance. How, you do? How the hell did you know that I was going to attack? Alright, let's wait. How? Oh, smart of me, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Poison of healing and some potion of sorcery. Tell me, you little bastard. Bastard. Your blood turns to ice as a familiar presence has been found. The golem is dead. Now I must journey to the city of Enfil and pack up my reward and next contract at the dead drop location there. It's located at the barrel just behind the pond, the city of Enfil. No. No! I'm too late. I thought I could get here in time! Thought I could stop you! By Sithis, what have you done? What madness has claimed you? You have betrayed me. You have betrayed the Dark Brotherhood. Why? I didn't, I just did what you asked. I'm here to end your miserable life. To... But... Uh, I can see the confusion in your eyes. You... You have no idea what I'm talking about. Do you? Nope. Of course, no, I understand. No, I don't know a thing. Keep in mind I'm doing this from my character's perspective, because I know what's going on, but he doesn't. So, I could say nothing, but that means... Mm, at this point I would say, No! What the fuck? 
fuck are you talking about? Your first dead drop contract. You carried that out, killed Celadon. After that, you eliminated the Draconis family, as ordered then. Betrayal. What? Your dead drops went unvisited. Your targets ignored. Instead, you have been systematically killing off all... Gasta, Shali, Zuval, Uvani, Havelstein, Horblood, Speakers and Silencers all, and Ungolum, the listener himself. The surviving members of the Black Hand know you're innocent. They know you're only following orders. They believe I am the traitor. What? God damn it, Raptor! What? What is going on? Oh, great. Let me guess, you have a plan. The traitor somehow switched your orders and has been sending you to the wrong dead drops. You and I have been deceived. We must find out who is behind this betrayal. We haven't much time. I'm hunted day and night by the Black Hand. They want me dead. Here is what you must do. Go now to your next dead drop. Lie in wait and confront whomever. Uncover the true traitor's identity and then come see me. I'll be in hiding. For Farragut is no longer secure. It's under watch by the Black Hat. I'll wait for you at Apple Watch. The f Okay, rumors. Are you mad? My life is on the line and the entire bro. Take no time for now. Go. Learn. Uh, let me see. Take Uglum's key. All right. Let's see. Where's next dead drop? I've been full. I've been confronted by Lucia the Chap, who told me I have been inadvertently killing off members of the Black Hand. I must now travel to the city of Anvil. Once there, I should wait near the barrel behind the statue in the pond and see who puts or who comes to set up the fake dead drops. I must then confront this person and find out why they've been tampering with my contracts. Okay. Let's do that. You messed with the wrong Dark Brotherhood associate. All right, uh, I'm back. You say, why are you back? Because for some reason my whole computer crashed. Yeah, it literally crashed. Don't know if it will happen any moment soon. Nope, not that I restarted the whole thing. So yeah. At least I can talk about the thing I wanted to talk about. And what may that be? I want to talk about prescription and route. About the channel bit I'm going to do. One thing I can certainly tell beforehand is let's see let's move around here and then wait. Is that I am going to do go upload two videos a day instead of one. Or try at least. Because you guys know that I already have let's say dead space that I have not finished. And many more. Horse party I still have to finish. So that's what I was planning to do. In finishing those let's plays. Hey, no. you there. I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. It, it was the robed man. He he paid me to put those things in the barrel. I don't know his name. Or he did, anyway. He told me he was leaving Wait, what? Andrew. I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Um, you liar. You 
I've put an... What? Stop using your your weather magic. Stop. <laughs> you're, you're not supposed to control the weather. Tell me about this lighthouse. And about the weather system that he stole from him. It's just outside the city walls. Stop I think it. the robed man has lived there for quite some time. In... in the cellar. Listen, that's all I know, really. Maybe Ulfgar Fogai can tell you more. Talk. Talk to Ulfgar. He's sure to have the key to the cellar. You know, if... Okay, I will. Now move. Just... just leave me alone, alright? I don't want no trouble. Jeez. That was weird. <sighs> Spare a card for an old bagger? Hmm. Depends if you really are a beggar. Like one of those dudes that were making it a very odd voice. And then when you give them the coin, and good day, sir. I am not actually a beggar. I'm just wondering someone who wants some coins for free. Oh, free what you some say certain members of the Thieves Kills will buy stolen goods. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's see who this mysterious road woman may be. He said man, not woman. Yeah, but you cannot conclude that. It could be a woman as well. I already know the answer. Ufgar of what are what is your name again? Hello? Oh, you want me to go all the way upstairs, are you? <sighs> I hope your ha your you, your bedroom is in this place because otherwise, uh. Hello. Well now, Ulga. what might you want? Um, I want a key to the cellar. Oh, do you now? And just why should I give you that? Uh, don't. No, oh, what? The Dark Brother demands it down. If you don't, I'll slice your throat. Hmm. Alright. The Dark Brotherhood demands it, you filthy dog. The Dark Brotherhood? Oh, okay, okay. Here, here's the key. Just if you're here to kill that fellow in the cellar, then. Then good. I won't call the guards or nothing. He's doing uh, unnatural. I've heard the screams and the smells. I never should have rented out that cellar. Never. So you're one. Oh. I've obtained the key to the Anvil Lighthouse cell, where the traitor has been living. I must unlock the cellar door and proceed down, so I may continue my investigation. I will, I will. So, you're wanting to make a contract without going to the Dark Brothers. You sound like Astrid. But she, even she has come to her senses. The door opened with the lighthouse key. Cellar key. I have gained entry to the light to the Anvil Lighthouse cellar. Now I must search for the cellar for some clues to the Dark Brotherhood traitor's identity or motives. Yes, yeah, sorry for the cut. Uh, my family has a tendency to walk inside my room. Well, they forgot that I can record sometimes. 
but uh, yeah, sorry for that stupid cut. But yeah, what do we have here? A mother's head. Oh. Okay, now I want to throw around it. Let's see, can I find another item? There we go, it's, it's Q on my keyboard standards, alright? The Traitor's Diary. It's alright, mother. It's almost over. I'm so close, so very close. How long we have struggled, how long we have waited. Too long, I know. But it's almost over, I promise. Kill him, 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 kill him. Etc. My mo mommy, mommy, mom. <laughs> mommy, mommy, I sh you lie. The dark man comes and makes you die. My daddy's hands are red with guilt because he killed the life we built. Oh, he, he's rhyming. Oops. I hated all this lying, all this pretending. Civis and the five tenants be damned. How long do I have to live by their rules? How long? Before I get my chance, I saw Lu Xing the chance yesterday. He was in the sanctuary talking to a chief. He was right there, so I close. I should have severed his spine in less than a heartbeat. Oh, mother, maybe before I had the exercise, exercise such my self control. What sickening ironic is that it was the Dark Brotherhood's discipline. That allowed me to restrain myself. I have been part of their family for years, for, for so long. It's a part of me, whether I like it or not. And all that, and all that time I fooled them. And all, in, and in all that time I fooled them all. They see me as a fellow member of the Dark Brotherhood, or of the Brotherhood, I, a trusted family member. Soon they, I will slurp. Someday, someday, <laughs> the way it's written, I cannot read it, just fluent. Someday soon, I will learn the truth about the night mother, and when I do, I will use the thrust to get close to her, close enough that I may rent her head from my body, just as Lucian the Chance did to you so long ago. Damn it, mother, why did it have to be this way? Maria was so beautiful, she was so perfect, was perfect. In so many ways, wouldn't she handle the truth? Why couldn't she handle the truth? Why couldn't she recognize her family? Didn't you? Re did <laughs> Why couldn't she realize family didn't really love her? She was murdered like the fellow. <laughs> Damn, his writing it is so not readable for me. It's readable, but still. She was a murderer like the rest of us, paid to kill in the name of Sithith. I really thought we could bear together. I thought we could be together and make a real family. With real love, but she told me she could never accept your place in my life. So she is gone now. She didn't deserve to live after she, had, she said such horror. She said the horrible things she said about you. You never should have told her. I know, I'm sorry, it was... I'm sorry, it will never happen again, the others will never find her. Don't worry, there's nothing left for her to find. Left of her to find. Yeah, she was rambling. I like to lie in the grass and watch the end... Sandwich? <laughs> yeah, bad not How many page... Eh. Uh, Alright, this will be enough. Lucian Etange will die. Oh. I have discovered Traitor's diary. He has been in the Dark Brotherhoods for years and is a fellow member of the Black Hand. His cause is revenge against Lucian Etange of all of the Brotherhood for murdering his mother when he was a child. And he actually plans on killing the Night Mother. He must return. I must return to Lucian the Chance at once at the farm called Apple Watch and give him this information. Let's take him. 
Yay! Don't worry, guys. I will read it in Oblivion Skyrim's Oblivion. Oblivion Secret Library. Go to Apple Watch. Oh, yeah. If I can maybe do this, I can end this whole quest line. It means a few skills and the burn of the god, so I can keep, get more fame instead of infamy. Ah, let's go inside. Silencer, at last you've arrived. Fear not, for the crisis that has threatened the Dark Brotherhood has finally come to an end. I am Arquin, speaker for the Black Hand. As you can see, we have dealt with the betrayer, Lucian Lachance. No longer will you serve as his puppet. It seems Lachance wanted revenge against the Dark Brotherhood for some reason, and used you to do his dirty work. But now we can begin anew. I bestow upon you the title of Speaker. You will take Lucian Lachance's place on the Black... As you know, the Black Hand is now in a state of disarray. Lachance ordered you to kill us off. We five, including you, are now all that remain. Even worse, you killed the listener! The black hand without a listener is like a hand with no thumb. Even the listener's successor is dead. So, we have no choice but to invoke an ancient ritual. We must wake the Night Mother from her slumber and seek her guidance. Between the hours of midnight and 3 a.m., Ask me about the Night Mother, and we will away to Our Lady's home. Only then will the ritual begin. Alright, so you bitch didn't actually go and look for any evidence that he really was the perpetrator. No, you just gone up to him, killed him with no solid evidence. Oh yeah, he ordered me so hold. You didn't look or didn't listen to him what he has to say. Did one of your comrades actually say, Don't listen to him, he is only lying. Or did you selfishly act on it? Think about that. So I hate you because you killed the best character in game. Fuck you. Rumors. This is no... When we confronted Lachance, he tried to defend himself, tried to declare his innocence. But we would not hear his treacherous lies. As you can see, he was no match for the combined power of the Black Hand, even weakened as we are. Um, so, you are just... Uh, I don't know where to begin. It's your show, why it... It's obvious why you are ki are killed. You may be strong in battle, but you don't have the brain capacity to think and listen why he should say he's innocent. Oh, he's manipulative. No, listen to him, and then you can see the way he talks, the way he does things, if he's manipulative or not. Fuck you for not thinking first, but directly attacking somebody, somebody who you think is a traitor. You must. 3 a.m. at midnight. Oh. Oh wait, that's that is a.m. not p.m. Okay, let's wait 12 hours. Let's finish this once and for all. I'm a little bit fed up about you dumbasses. That actually killed an the innocent black man. Welcomes you. True, you kill people that are even innocent just for money. But still, dear speaker, when the night mother must be. I'm ready. Very good, and so. You must un Yeah, yeah, let's wait a few more seconds. Yeah, it crashed. 
before it crashed. Yeah, it crashed. All right. Dear speaker. Dear speaker. You must. Few more minutes. Wee 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 wee. Oh wait. You are like an unholy vision. So beautiful. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you something. Um, here, here. Uh, before we go, uh, there's something I really want to show you. What? What? What is that? Is that a head? No, no, it can't be. I. Yeah, 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 so sorry, Speaker, I, I'm, I'm distracted. <laughs> uh, May we forever serve the Night Mother. Yeah. Our trouble... All right, you don't speak about it. Good. Sithis be with you. Greetings, fellow Speaker. I know you. I... The Black Hand... I... No... <laughs> you are like an unholy vision. So beautiful. Dear speaker, the night. Yes, let's go. Very good. Behold the night mother. The locals call this statue the lucky old lady. They have no idea how lucky they really are. In a moment, we will begin. I will recite an incantation, and we can proceed down into the crypt and... I know this is all very overwhelming, dear child. Just follow along and you'll be fine. Now, let's go see what the future holds, shall we? I'd much rather say... Unholy matron, we of the Black Hand beseech you. Reveal yourself now, most magnificent Night Mother, so that we may seek your guidance. That is just creepy. You say the lucky old lady. It is just aired. It's much more the scary old witch. How that statue moved? Uh, Alright. The incantation has revealed a hidden path. A hidden door to the Night Mother's crypt. I must follow the other members of the Black Hand down to the crypt. When we're down there, the traitor will surely try to destroy the Night Mother. I must stop the traitor at all costs. I know you are! You reach up, kiss the lady, the lucky old lady on the cheek, and hope to get your wish. What is the meaning of this desecration? Who has disturbed my ancient slumber? Dearest Night Mother, most unholy maiden, please, we beg your mercy in this our time of need. The Black Hand seeks your guidance. Ah, yes, I have been expecting you. The listener now kneels by Sithis, as does his successor. There is a traitor amongst you. The traitor is dead, dear mother. We have come now to ask your blessing. Anoint one of us, your listener, so we can restore the Black Hand. Foolish little Lucien Lachance served Sithis to his dying breath. The Black Hand remains tainted by betrayal. Restoration is impossible. Enough. Enough of this. You will all suffer for the pain you have caused me. I will destroy your Night Mother, and the Dark Brotherhood will fall. Huh. Ow. Ah. Ah. What treachery? The traitor still lives. It is Matthew Bellamont. Do not let him harm the Night Mother. Kill him. Don't talk. Just, just fight. The traitor Matthew Bellamont is dead, and the crisis that plagued the Dark Brotherhood is now over. The Night Brother is still in the name of, still needs to name a new listener. Listener. <laughs> 
I should wait to hear what she has to say. Let's grab some of this stuff. Because fuck you, Balaman. What is this weapon? I will launch for just. So, at last we meet. I have been following your strange journey through the Dark Brotherhood, young one. Your killing of the old man Baneland, the execution of Adamus Villada, the way you stalked and murdered each member of the Draconis family, your purification of the Jaden Hall Sanctuary, you, a mere underling, even managed to single-handedly eliminate half of my black hand. And you say the black hand was supposed to be impressive. I live only to serve the black hand. Fuck the black hand. Ha! A rev I reveled in their slaughter. So you did, my child. So you did. <laughs> <laughs> you obeyed your orders and showed no mercy or remorse. How could I ask for a better servant? If only my other children had served me so well. You see, I have known of Matthew Bellamont's intentions since he was just a boy. I knew of his thirst for vengeance. I could have informed my listener, but I refused. Refuse to reward such incompetence. Ungal was weak. Indeed, I allowed Matthew Bellamont to proceed on his destructive course, just as I allowed you to intercept him. You're a smart ass woman, aren't you? Still, do I like you? I still don't like you for the fact that. You if what you did caused Lucian to die. But he serves Sithis now. But, but why, honored Night Father? Then our destinies were interwoven. Say nothing. I'm not actually someone who call who is a fan of destiny and fate. Uh, but this sounds just pathetic. I'll say this one, though I don't like it. Yes, dear child, yes. The Dread Father foresaw it all. You were meant to kill the traitor. You were meant to be named Listener of the Black Hand. You possess strength and cunning, and a heart as black as midnight. You were marked by Sithis the moment you emerged from your mother's womb. Finally, the authority I deserve. Though I'm a dark brotherhood assassin, I'm not going to be that cocky. So what happens now, unholy matron? Go, take a few moments to collect yourself. Meditate upon all that has transpired. Help yourself when you are ready. Speak with me again, and I will deliver you safely to the only place you can truly call home. The Chaden Hall Sanctuary. There is much work to be done. And when you are back in the Sanctuary, speak with Arquen. She will serve as your humble servant and guide. Okay. Okay. Over in comfort? I just have a bollocks. I'm not over in comfort. Alright, let's use these hammers. Go. Still over in comfort. Let's drink some potions. There we go. Long swords. 
left grass. Nightshade. Oh, come on. There you go. Okay. Damas Pearl. Oh yeah, Matthew. Uh, Matthew. Uh... No, you had an item. Maybe. Don't you? Oh. Dagger of Numbing. Let's see. Frost damage. better items. Let's go. You've returned. I trust you've weighed the... And I hope you've taken everything... I'm ready. Send me back to the sanctuary. Very good. Now begins your true journey. We will soon become very intimate, you and I. <laughs> Before I send you away, however, I would like to present you with a rather special reward. I see you still possess the Blade of Woe, the weapon given you by Lucy Machance when you first met. Allow me now to unlock its true power. Yes, you will now find the Blade of Woe a bit more potent than it was. Now go. Leave this crypt. Ah. My reminder of Lucian. Arquin and I have been teleported to the Sadian Hall Sanctuary. I should now speak with Arquin, who will now serve as my servant and guide me in days to come. Okay, let's go to the Blade of Woe. Nice. Still, it's a little bit less powerful, like in this dagger. I think this elven, or no, this dwarven. But this has 10 health damage, willpower damage, demolarize, magic strike. Wait, what? Oh, okay. And now it has weight to it. <sighs> Alright, let's talk Honored to Honored listener. I offer myself as your humble servant and guide. Please allow me to mentor you in your new role. Here's what I believe we should do next. I will stay here and attempt to re-establish this sanctuary. I will begin recruiting new members. You must fulfill your new duties. The statue in Breville serves as a conduit between the Night Mother and the Listener. Once a week, you must visit the statue. Talk to it. You will be presented with a list of names and locations. These are people who have prayed to the Night Mother. They request a visit from a speaker to arrange someone's assassination. All you need to do is visit the statue once a week, get the list of names and locations, and pass it on to me here in the sanctuary. Do this, and I will give you your share of the Sanctuary's weekly earnings. There's so much work to be done. So, I'm gone from an assassin to an administrative worker. I'm just doing now the paper writers. Fucking damn it. <sighs> Though I thought I got a promotion, I got also the great job jobs that I have to do. <sighs> and, yeah, but still. Glad I helped. Glad I helped it. That scary old witch. That lucky old lady. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always. I will see you next time.